Good morning reception and welcome to Wednesday's Bank Clapping. So today we're going to start off with our formation. So we're going to form the letters M, mm, M mm, and O, mm, and they all have an arch back. Can you see they all go up and arch? The R only ha goes halfway up. You can practice remembering that we always start at the top. Make sure you start at the top. So I'm just going to model one for you. So I'm going to model the M. Mm. So again, and it's not a tall letter, so it doesn't reach the top line, it only reaches halfway. It does have a straight back. We start off with a nice straight back. Down, up, arch back, down, up, arch back, down and flick. That's our mm. So now we're going to move on to the mm. And it's very similar to the mm, isn't it? In fact, that it's got a straight back, it's a small letter and it's got an arch. It only has one arch and the mm has two. So, mm, nice straight back, down, back up, arch, down and flick for your mm. Our final letter is r. So again, straight back, start at the top, straight back, back up with a small arch, what we only do halfway. We don't form a full arch for the R. Uh. I would like you to continue with your formation on your own or with your adult, writing six letters each time for each letter. Okay. Each time you write one, can you make sure it's better than the first one? Almost have some. Oh, okay. So we're going to move on to our teach section. So we've been working on words that have four sounds. Most of the words that we've been working on have had four sounds and four letters, but this time we're still working on the words that have, with four sounds. But some of our words will have five letters because we're going to be using some digraphs. So this one has got a digraph. Has two letters that make one sound. Think. Think. Can we all sound that out together? Think. So you're going to practice that. So here we go. I'm going to show you a picture first. And this time I want you to write it. So you still need to segment and blend, segment and blend, but you want you to write the letters as you hear them. As soon as you hear the sound, write the graphene. Are we ready? What is this first picture? Nest. So sound out nest. Nest. Say it. Write it, say it, write it before I reveal the letters. Have you written it? Nest. N -e -st. Did you write those letters? Did you get them in the correct order? Well done. Our next word is going to be tent. Sound out tent for me with your adult. Oh, well done. Did you get it right? Write all the letters then. Write the letters that make the sounds in this word. I don't want to give anything away. You ready? I'll do it together also now. T -e -n -t tent. Let's see if you've written the correct letters. T -e -n -t. Did you write that? Are you sure? If you didn't, just check it and correct it. That's fine. We're still learning. The next picture is spoon. So to help you spell it, remember you have to sound the word out first. Spoon. It's got four sounds, but five letters. As you sound it out, write it on your board or your paper. As soon as you hear your sounds, spell them on your board or your paper. Spoon. Did you get all those sounds? Spoon. Let's see, s, p, u, n. Check with your board or your paper. If there's anything wrong, just correct it. Last word in this section is dress. Now this is quite tricky. Lots of children spell this with a j, because they say dress like a j. 
but it's duress. You have to be careful. I'm going to help you with this one. Duress. Duress. Write that, those letters on your board. Duress. Which letters represent these sounds? It's duress. Check and correct. Did you spell it correct now? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, just check and correct. Check and correct. Right, we're going to go on to reading sentences. And this is going to be on phonics play. So I'm just going to share with you again how to get onto this for phonics play. So you just put phonics play in your Google. Should come up. Well done. Let's move my face. So our username is March 20. It's a lowercase March 20. And our password is home. H-O-M-E. H-O-M-E. All lowercases. That should work. So then we go to resources, phase two. Practice can be phase two or phase three, it's entirely up to you. And on here, you click the sentences and then you practice reading some sentences. Just practice all of the words so you can show and you can hide. As you show it, you read each sentence. I want to leave you to do that with your adult. If you can't get onto phonics play, well, then you can just practice reading sentences in your book. That is absolutely fine. Okay, we're going to go back to our work for today. So we're going to on, go on to our writing section because you're going to read the sentences as part of your practice with your adult. Now, for our writing task, we need to have our words for today, which are C, C, B, C, or C, B, C, C. Words that have four sounds. Remember, they can have five letters though. Now we've already written the word dress. So again, dress. Remember, I like you to guess what the sentence might be. Talk to your adult, pause the, the video, tell the person next to you what you think the sentence could possibly be. Link into this Im image. Okay, so I'm going to just talk through what I think. It's a lady, so it could be she. What is she wearing? She's wearing a red dress, isn't she? It, it is, it's she put her red dress on. Everyone say it together. She put her red dress on. How many words was that? That was six words and we need to make sure we've got our full stop at the end. So now we're going to write it together, the first sentence first. She is a tricky word, so it will be on your tricky word mat. It is up here, she. Capital S, sh. He. Put, we should be able to sound that out quite quickly now. P -ut. Her. Oh, we can't see it. Her is over here, out of the way, but her is spelled her, her. And again, your face free tricky word mat will help you with any words that you need help with. She put her red. Thank you. R -e -d. It's a bit wonky, isn't it, Miss Hampson? You do a better job than me. Dress. D-R-S, D-R-S. Nice and round, up, down, flick. Final word, on. Oh. And we need our full stop at the end. Let's just check again that we've written it correctly. We've made sure that all our words are in our sentence. She put her red dress 
on. She put her red dress on. Six words, that's how many words we said we, sh we would have, isn't it? Well, she put her red dress on. So the final sentence, again, as usual, you'll be doing it with your adult. It's here, there's some clues here for you again. There are crabs. Where are those crabs? Where have they been placed? In the bucket. <gasps> bucket is a two syllable word, bucket. Remember, sound out the first part, book, then the final part, et. Bucket, and they are crab, crabs it's at the end for the plural. Again, pause the video if you want to think of the sentence that it could be, if you want to make your own sent up, sentence up for this image, that's brilliant. But my sentence is, she put the crab in the bucket. Say it together. She put the crab in the bucket. Seven words. Do that with your adult. Try and not peek. At this section, go back to the previous one where the sentence was covered. But if you get stuck, use your tricky word mat, your sounding out, and then your adult can help you also. Have a good session learning. Bye-bye for now. See you reception.